I wanted to show you guys what I got for my Strobus setup. Um, I was on a budget and I wanted to get into a lot more portrait photography and working with models using off-camera lighting and all I had to start with was a Nikon D3000 flat or camera uh, and a Sunpack flash didn't really use that much but I had that uh, in the stock lens so I did a lot of research on off-brand kind of um, third-party stuff uh, I couldn't afford the top brand stuff with uh, trying to get a complete setup that I wanted to get so the first setup cost me about $220 that included a Yongnuo YN560 speed light. Some people compare the output to like an SB600, um, which I found that they're very bright. I got the speed light reflector. I got a 26 or 24 by 36 inch softbox. I got a Monfrotto mount to use with an umbrella. I got a golden collapsible umbrella and I got a six foot stand. Um, so the Yongnuo 560 speed light costs almost 70 bucks. It's full manual. It can be fired optically. Um, I haven't had any problems with this flash at all and I find that it is really bright. I also got their uh, RF transmitters and receivers uh, this is the 602 version. They have a 603 version, but after I got these and found out about the new ones, the new ones are transceivers. Uh, they're slightly more expensive, and the mount on the bottom of them, this one comes with a quarter inch mount, so this can be mounted directly onto a stand as opposed to the transceivers that have a regular hot shoe on the bottom. So. The benefit of that is being able to put it on top of the camera and be able to put a flash on top of that and still fire wirelessly. With this setup, you just have the transmitter and you can't attach a flash. However, with the transceivers mounting this on top, people were complaining about having uh, this being able to fall right off. And looking at some people's videos and reviews on those, Seeing how easily they did fall off, I don't want to risk having a flash on there falling off and then having to get a new flash. And also, I'm not going to be really in a situation where I'm going to be using an on-camera flash and an off-camera flash uh, at the same time. So any time that I'm going to be shooting, I'm only going to be using an off-camera flash. Uh, this Monfredo mount it's pretty heavy duty. It's nice and metal. Um, it's got the umbrella jack in the the part that you mount the mount this, so you can angle the the flash towards the center of the umbrella. If this was at the on the top part that you actually screw on, um, the flash is hitting the top part of the umbrella, and this way you're getting more even balanced light, being able to angle it at the center. This softbox, the main reason why I went with this one, this softbox was uh, around $60, $65. It's big. Uh, this mount is pretty nice. It's got interlocking teeth. I'll try to show you that. It's got interlocking teeth here. And what people were complaining about the uh, other versions the, with the ball joints is that they slip a lot, especially with the bigger softboxes. So I got this one, and I haven't had any problems at all with it. The interlocking teeth, it's really nice because it's really firm and it's not slipping at all. Um, this lens that I got, uh, the 50mm 1.8G, it's really nice. I love it, especially with the short depth of field and the amount of light that you're able to capture. It's a really great portrait lens. With the D3000, it is a crop sensor, so I'm really shooting at a higher millimeter um, and also the 1.8 G is because this is a Nikon D3000 and it does not have an autofocus motor in the body so all the autofocusing has to be done in the lens and the G makes it more expensive because it has an autofocusing sensor. The reflector I got was just a cheap reflector that you find on Amazon. It's, it's like a 42 inch reflector and it was like $12. Uh, I really like that setup 
that I first got, so I ordered a second flash, uh, a couple more transmitters and receivers. Um, I don't need another mount because this cheaper flash that I have, all I'm going to be using it for is like rim lighting. So this is just going to be mounted on top of a uh, receiver, and that's just going to screw directly onto a stand. So I don't need another mount of any kind. That's just going to go directly onto a stand. I do have another couple stands coming in, a uh, cheaper version just um, that I'm waiting on. So basically everything that I got came to about $700 for a couple flashes, uh, transmitters and receivers, a nice lens. This lens was around 260 on eBay. Uh, reflector, umbrella stand, two more stands actually, uh, a battery grip, uh, mount, softbox. I also got this uh, backpack to carry around my stuff. Just an Amazon backpack, and I like it because it's it's kind of small. When I put it on, it doesn't stick out very far. It's got adjustable compartments, so I can adjust anything that I need. It's got a couple of uh, zippers here, small compartments. I'll keep my memory cards and my RF transmitters. Uh, it's got a spot to put a uh, tripod on the side. That's nice. It's all black. So this is what I got, and so far I really like it. It uh, all I had was about seven hundred dollars to spend on stuff, and so far I love it. I highly recommend Yangnuo flashes with their transmitters and receivers. They're Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, if you have any any questions, just ask.